<laughs> he's, he's got, he's just a bit too tough on himself. Wow. So four all. Saffin tries to steady himself to serve. Some ground, these guys just scrambled that back. Thought that was good enough. Talked about before has drop volleys or drop shots on hard courts. Ouch, they are hard courts. He's got to call Shaquille up, had to <laughs> work on his falling. That's what Shaquille's working with Tai Chi or something. O'Neal, that is, the, the basketball player. Pat is. I think it's a touch. Are you in a restaurant somewhere? 30 love. 30 love. Fourteen aces for Saffin. It's five four. Twenty three years ago today, the first day session at the National Tennis Center. Back at Arthur Ashe Stadium, Lubitsch serving to try to level this fourth set at five and fifteen love. Twenty three years ago today, the first day session. Mm -hmm. Wow. No more Forest Hills, huh? Such a great story about Slew Hester flying over and winner. Well, oh, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Don't think he knew where he was in the court. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> this is a big game, of course. This is the game. And Lubitsch mm -hmm. is just serving to stay in the match. And uh, we'll leave this now. Well, well, it is, oh. is going to go in. Oop. So Slew Hester saw this wonderful landfill. And it was here. <laughs> it was a sign and of the World Fair in 1964. You came here, didn't you? I did come here. Yes, yes. I did. Five too. years old. I was nine. Well, is that guess what? 18, yeah. Uh, guess what? Now two points away. Saffin's definitely looked like he's got some eagerness here. Hey. Two points, I can get off this court. You get away from a very dangerous opponent. Capriati, Agassi to follow. Stay tuned. I bet you Capriati's hoping it's a four setter. <laughs> You're right, it must be tough to keep that edge for this long. Oh, oh that's, that's a great shot. It's a great <laughs> get. Gutsy too. That's an amazing shot at that point in the match. He's not the most confident around the net, but I mean, that could have come from Pete Sampras, Pat Rafter, John McEnroe, as good as they come. Minutes. Matt's has had enough too. <laughs> He's anxious. A match point for Saffin. I'll expect a big serve. That's for sure. <laughs> That's a given. He's going to pray that he misses the first serve. Not a good time for the wind to kick up. Saves it. 
Yes. yes. going to come at some stage in this game. How about that placement at 124? Safin could just turn and sigh. Lubacic able to buy some time. Safin had that forehand pass on match point. He just played it a little bit safe, which you can't blame him for doing. He didn't want to miss it. He wanted to make Lubitsch just play a volley. He did. And credit to Ivan. Or is it Ivan in uh, Croatia? You're going with Ivan. Ivan, okay. We know, know what it is. we know what it is in Czechoslovakia. Or the Czech Republic, as they now call it. Ivan Lendl. Fifteen all. Do you think the day will ever come when Safin is able to pull back some of that emotion that he shows out on the court? Or is that just the way he will well, I always? I think it's good be? to show. You look, look at someone besides Pat and I. If pull back on emotion, but just it's harnessing some of that what appears to be negativity out there, where he gets down on himself. I mean, keep that head up, stand up strong. I mean, he. Physically, he's so imposing. 6'4. I mean, he's a great looking guy. There's no reason to put his head down or slouch those shoulders. I think he'd be more imposing. It up. Woodruff trying to hang on. If, if he stood up tall, you know, even when they switch sides, I mean, something Becker did all the time. Made him almost appear bigger than he was at. Maybe he was 6'2 and a half, 6'3. A sap and six four. Are those kinds of messages that type of presence important in, in matches at this think level? It's important in sports. It's, these guys are getting bigger and any edge you can get. Game seven. Sap and holes losing just one point on his serve. Seven eight, six games to five. And it's six five in the fourth set. Lubacic again serving to stay in the match. Hoping to send this fourth set to a tie break. It's got to go there, right? Of course. Let's take the nearest seat for now. Players are ready for Waiting for people to get settled in. There we go. <laughs> That'll make you a little nervous finding your seat. Player about 10 feet away from you, staring right at you. Ready to go. Didn't seem to bother him much. 20 aces now. Pull back a little bit there. 115. Perfect placement. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what he's feeling. Touch like a baby elephant on that one. <laughs> Love 30. He is fun to watch. Could be an orchestra leader. 
there's there's a future. You know, that's big in Russia. It pays well to be low. Pays better than most of the other jobs, that's for sure. Well, guess Get ready for the tie break. One yeah. away from a tie break. Game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 21 aces now. That's 127 out wide. I mean, you've got to add at least 10 more miles per hour to hit it up the middle. Six games all. Tie break. Well, so a lot more ahead. <laughs> Jennifer Capriati is scheduled to be next, and then Andre Agassi here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. This is one of those great days for tennis at the National Tennis Center. Tonight will be Venus Williams and then Pete Sampras. I'd like to see Safin get ready. I mean, this ball here, watch. I mean, he's in big trouble, but look the way he's standing. Right here, he said, oh gosh. <laughs> Not going to happen. Maybe he's, well, it makes, he guessed right. He had a shot at it. Two zero. I mean, Safin is disappointed, of course. He did, you know, it was a poor half volley drop shot. But that was a good serve. Slams his racket. You know, just get on with the, get on with this tiebreaker. It's too love. It's not the end of the match yet. point there. Saffin very patient. I wish I could hit one ground stroke as hard as he hit those last ten. <laughs> then he takes the ball early on the rise above the net and just whacks it for a winner. He needed that point. One two. Swirling on the Arthur Ashe Stadium, making things tricky here in this four set critical tiebreaker. Tiebreaker after tiebreaker here. <laughs> Let the first of us. Get out. Get out Three, of here. Two, you, you would think with all this power. Lubacic able to muster the big serve that the match would be over relatively quickly, but not so today. Three hours, 23 minutes, and we are still in the fourth set. Lubacic, by the way, also about 6-4, pounding away. Just surprised these guys don't break more balls, just depressurize and just... <laughs> Feel there. Three all, they'll change ends. Three all. Thank you. Sees the court you, nice and open for him. Just gets those knees. See, there's it. See that? Gets the knees nice and low. Pads. I didn't realize you could be too low, especially at net. Not at the net, no. In the ground strokes you can be. Block off the rest of the body. You might be able to rotate. You don't bend your knees, Mac. You don't notice it. You don't bend your knees. That's why you're so good at the back of the court. <laughs> Thanks for lying there. <laughs> that I'm good in the back of the court. I owe you See, one. I bend my knees. You got a I great forehand, too. Did I ever tell Th you that? Thank you. <laughs> I bend my knees, and that's why I can, can I barely walk up <laughs> upstairs. 
4-3. Saffron sends that in about the eighth row. Three four. Can't get any tighter than this one has been. Four all. That's one of those. And shots have talked about. It's a real judgment call. Is it a shot to hit go for for a clean winner or is it not in the tiebreaker? I mean, that probably would have gone in at any other time during the match. Oh. 134. That's 15 aces for Saffron. Saffron. He's taking his time. Good play. He's supposed to be officially supposed to be ready when the server is ready to serve. Spring there, and he took it early again. Took it up high. He loves it there. Six, four. This time Seven. he's got two in a row, two match points. Almost three and a half hours. Yeah. One save. Stafford will have a third match point. First on his serve. There it is. 136. That's 16 aces. Seven, six. And that was a battle seven, for Saffin. That was a heavyweight matchup. So a lot of question marks about the defending champion coming in, but he is through. To the third round. Well, things rounding into form. And listen, why don't we before we we get a chance to see Arazi is about to looks like he's about to finish off Woodruff. Let's see if we can head over to Louis Armstrong. Mika Marazzi and Chris Woodruff will check that out when we return. Tough going, but Stafford is through to the third round. Near three and a half hour match. You saw the defending champ here at the U.S. Open, Marat Sappen, advance. Congratulations on that. So it's nine straight wins here at the Open, oh, and uh, obviously enjoying uh, the atmosphere, feeling comfortable. Yeah, we, but today especially was uh, very tough conditions, too windy, and uh, but it was well, it was a very nice match to play and a very nice match to win. Take us through the uh, the mindset and physically. We saw both of you stumbling at, at times and uh, needing some help from trainers. Oh, well, of course, we need some excuse if we lose. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, what that was. That was a cover. So yeah, you really important, were... of course. <laughs> and, and, but but he gave you a battle, Lubacic. He really. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy. He was. I know him since uh, seven years. We played together first time when I was 14. And uh, yeah, it's a very tough guy to play. You know, very, very good serve, very good baseline, and a very good volley. And uh, it was very tough. Um, I was really scared about him.
So really to to advance quite quite a difference from when you came in last year with the US Open having won is the seven tournaments and then obviously uh, finishing off strong this year I know some physical uh, problems ha ha had affected your play but after you got through the first round match where are you physically between the knee and you had the back problems No I'm okay because uh, the problem was that I missed uh, four very important tournaments at the beginning of the year because of my back I get injured in uh, in Dubai and I miss uh, Indian Wells Miami Monte Carlo and I started in Rome, so basically I just lost four of them. I lose a lot of points and uh, now it's very tough to fight for to get to the Masters. But I'm still uh, trying to win some matches. I'm here to win it again. I know it's very tough, but still I'm, I'm trying, why not? Yes, and, and Shane worked with some different rackets now. What was the most recent change and yes. what did that do for you? And nothing, just uh, trying, nothing. To, trying to find my game. <laughs> well, looking rackets. at a racket for it. Yeah, yeah, and, but, but it's, it's working for the moment. and. I feel comfortable, and especially with the coach that I have, I, I have to win matches. Now let's talk about, yeah, with, with Mats Wielander, who the king, right, of concentration when he was a player, and, and that's something you've admitted to sometimes, how the mental, and I saw your comments coming in here about confidence and where you were feeling. How has he helped you in that area specifically? Yeah, it's very much. I mean, it's, uh, it's a big honor for me to work with him. And uh, so I have to play well, I have to fight every match, so it's not like before. I can tank some matches and I can play some uh, really bad ones. But now I have to work uh, 24 hours a day and try to win uh, everything. So it's, he, very, it's really, really difficult. So he cracks the, the whip, but he, does he really find you $100 when you break a racket still? Uh, it's difficult to pay $100. <laughs> so you're holding back the temper? Yeah, yeah, I have to, I have to. Well, in the broadcast, John McEnroe, they talked about your emotion, and he says, hey, it's good to play with, with emotion. Obviously, you don't want too much of it to be negative energy out there, but is it important for you to play that way? And obviously, a place like the National Tennis Center, the, the crowd feeds off that. No, but because it's, uh, I'm like this, I cannot change myself, and it's very difficult to, to play in other way, you know, be quiet on the court and be, be nice to everybody. I can't. I have to. I have to fight because I'm getting angry with me, with uh, with my coach, with my father, with uh, with everything. Yeah. So it's. But it helps me uh, yeah. somehow. I don't know. But uh, I'm still winning matches. So it's, it's a good thing for me. All right, good. Just don't get angry with me, or we'll break no, your it's racket. Okay. It's okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming by. It was fun okay. watching. Right. Three and a half hours. Of a good workout out there. Have a drink. Relax. Marat Safa, the 21-year-old defending champ, advancing here day four of the U.S. Open. We'll check out Jennifer Capriati getting ready to go with her match as we continue uh, from New York. Don't go away.